This is just the latest uh, Windows build of the Google Public Inclusive infrastructure that's being worked on by the team at the IDRC and others. Um, and specifically what I want to show is the work that we've been doing on the user interface options plus plugin, which allows us to use the user interface options panel um, rather than having to be installed on an individual on each individual website. It's this is a browser plugin version that works on Chrome. Uh, and this has integration with the current build of the GPI, so someone can carry around their personal preference settings for things like contrast and screen size, log into the system using um, a cloud-based access or a physical token like a USB or uh, an NFC uh, card, and see their preferences for things like contrast applied. Um, because of the way this works with CSS within the browser, this doesn't work with all websites unless they have an approach to their design that works sort of well with accessibility considerations, like being able to increase the font size and being able to change the contrast. I'm going to show two sites here with this. Um, just briefly what we've got here in terms of the physical setup. We've got a Microsoft Surface running Windows 10. We've got this NFC reader. NFC is a um, form of RFID that allows you just to carry kind of a passive um, a passive chip on physical items. They're very inexpensive. They can be like stickers. I've got one on one of my business cards here. And then small amounts of information can be read off those cards. So we've got the integration with the GPAI for that. So with the preferences set um, represented by this, I can tap on to the system, and it applies my set of personal preferences for um, using any website, essentially. You can see we get contrast, we get an increase in the font size, uh, we get highlighting of the links. This is more obvious. On, so, so we'll look here at the Toronto Star site here. So this works. It has not turned the picture of Harry, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle black and white. I think that's just an a random effect from the photo they chose. So theoretically, someone could be using a public computer um, or another shared system. They get their set of preferences. Then when they're finished with their session, they tap out of the system. It returns to the previous setting. So you don't have to do any kind of on-the-fly configuration of the system. You're using the system to adapt to that. So it's a big advancement for, I think, both UIO and GPI integration to have this level of working with um, the browser plugin. So it's pretty cool to see. And there's a lot of other options that you can use within the browser plugin. Even if, you don't, if, you, if you're not using GPI integration, you get the ability to use user interface options on any site.